Hi, I'm Janelle Smith. This is Nancy Jaffe, and we are registered dietitians at the UCLA uh, Digestive Health and Nutrition Clinic. Uh, today we want to talk about lactose intolerance. What is lactose intolerance? It is actually a condition where a person's body doesn't make enough of the enzyme that helps break down the sugar that's naturally found in milk. Um, so lactose is found in foods such as cow's milk, even goat's milk, um, ice cream, uh, cottage cheese, yogurt, uh, cream cheese as well. So um, anytime where there's a little bit of that sugar left in the milk product, uh, mm. people might malabsorb that lactose. And the lactose actually ends up serving as food for our gut bacteria, which produces a lot of gas and can also draw water into the gut. Um, so if you suspect you have symptoms from dairy products like lactose intolerance, we recommend you work with a dietitian or a physician to help you determine if it is lactose that's the problem. Yeah, and there's even some good lactose-free products on the market, right? Mm. Um, are there things that are naturally low in lactose that patients can look for? Absolutely. So a lot of hard cheeses like cheddar, parmesan, mozzarella cheeses are very low in mm. uh, lactose in kind of normal portions. Um, we have many lactose-free versions of milk and yogurt and cream cheese on the market as well. And then almond milk and coconut milk uh, and soy milk are also going to be naturally lactose-free. That's great. And I know with some of my patients, I find that even when they try these low-lactose, naturally low-lactose dairy products, they still may get some gas and bloating or diarrhea. And then we might want to look for a different issue. So instead of it being a lactose issue, which is that sugar, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. they may actually have an issue with a protein. And we call this protein alpha-1 or A1 beta casein. And this is found mainly in our black and white Holstein cows, which we love here in the U.S. And what we found is it can actually be pro-inflammatory which means that it can irritate the lining of the gut. And this can actually create those exact same symptoms that we're used to seeing with lactose intolerance. So luckily, goat and sheep milk are both low in that A1 protein structure. They actually have one called A2, which is anti-inflammatory, which is very mm. nice. Um, also, there's products on the market such as A2 milk, which are low in that A1 protein structure as well. So that's another option for patients to try out if, if lactose-free isn't working for them. Gotcha. Great. All right. Well, I hope you learned a little bit about some dairy issues. And um, if you have any questions, you'll come and visit us in the Digestive Health and Nutrition Clinic. Thanks so much.